All right, I want to read you guys a story from Lao. I bought this book at the Night Bazaar here in Luang Prabang, and uh, it's called The Story of a Hungry Frog. Be quiet, motorbike. Don't ruin this story. The Story of a Hungry Frog. Let's see what this story is going to be about. Okay, the first page. Frog eats an earthworm. Frog eats an earthworm, and then frog eats a grasshopper. Wow, look at that. Look at that poor grasshopper getting eaten by Mr. Frog. And then frog eats a caterpillar. Wow. Frog eats a caterpillar. And then frog eats a grasshopper. You must really love grasshoppers. And then finally a snake eats frog. A snake ate Mr. Frog. That's, that's the end of the book. Isn't that brilliant? That is just brilliant. Whoever wrote this book is a genius. The story is so riveting. I love the character development, right? At first you see a frog and you know, it's a story of a hungry frog. And you think, hmm, why is the frog hungry? What's, who is the frog? What's he going to do? How is he going to solve his hunger, right? So it sort of builds, right? The tension in the story is building. What's the frog gonna do about it? And then, you know, it develops some characters. We have an earthworm, we have a grasshopper, and then we have a caterpillar, and then the grasshopper makes a dramatic reappearance in the story, and then, at the end of the story, we have this dramatic turn of events. The frog has been eating all the other animals in the story. But then at the end of the story, everything turned. The tables get turned and the frog himself gets eaten. Isn't that, it, just, it just leaves you shocked at the end of, you know, when I read this, I was just shocked. It, it just leaves you speechless. You don't see it coming. It's such a, it's an element of surprise. Just the dramatic turn of events. Here in the story, the frog is the one who's been the aggressor eating all the other animals. Then suddenly, he gets eaten by a snake. And it just leaves you, it, it just leaves you dumbfounded. How on earth did that happen? Frog's vengeance gets returned on his own head. He got what was coming for him, right? He was the one who ate all the other animals. Then in the end, he gets eaten by a hungry snake. And that's it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the story of Lao. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.